Yes, uh, hi, back to playing game with that this year. How it been for blood bills? I've been having some more important things with life than take them out to record game. Record me playing games and also hear final that's because I have three fans on me because where I'm at, where I'm living, is in Texas and it's hot because it's middle because summer started. So yeah. But it starts. Seems brighter action on, on on the field, but hopefully. <coughs> Any problems coming in? Uh, <laughs> Guess they know now we ain't in the city. Who, Mr. Milton's friends? Yeah, they've had patrols out ever since you boys disappeared. Well, at least you're alive. For now, yeah. What happened in um, Guama? Yeah. <coughs> Nothing nice. What happened to Dutch? Cause he seems. I don't know. Seems as what began happening in Blackwater began happening years ago, maybe. A slow decline, I guess. Yeah, I'm not what sure I want to get rid of the bear. I ain't not quite yet. sure. I like the bear. Looks cool. What happened here? I started gathering people up as best I could after you boys left. And John, you know that part. I do. And Hosea. So that too. Hell, we got Lenny's body out as well. Tribe the morgue and buried them together. That's nice. Follow me. What's your plan here? Well, I figure before we do anything, we need to make sure John's even still at this prison. And how do we do that? We need to get up high enough to get a proper look at the place. What? It's on an island, ain't it? Unless you're planning on learning how to fly. That's exactly what we're gonna do. I found us a hot air balloon. I you like this plan. <laughs> now, the pilot, or whatever you call him, he thinks we're just in it for a lesson. Bit of a tour. <laughs> He's quite the character. I think you'll like him. You know, I'm impressed. You really stepped things up, ain't you? Hey, we didn't know if you was even coming back. Whole thing hit folks real hard. You can see it. Karen's gone falling fully into the bottle. Strauss is a bag of nerves. Swamp's in a... Well, Swanson's actually gone and cleaned up his act. So, I guess it ain't all gone to shit. I'm just happy you boys were able to find us. Javier said he got the letter I left to the post office. That was a good idea. Until the Pinkerton showed up. Oh, by the way, I've been hunting O'Driscoll boys. Killed two of the sons of bitches at a campsite last week. Whoa. She a beauty, ain't she? From here on the ground, yes. I'm actually going to change. Mr. Bullard? Mm. Bissell, so Mr. Campbell. Bullard. Ah, Mrs. Adler. It's good to see you. Good to see you. Ah. Uh, this is my friend I told you about, Mr. Morgan. Ah, yes, Arturo Bullard. At your service, sir. At your service. Arthur Morgan. Well, it's a nice, fresh day for flying, sir. A day like today in Icarus would have made it. <laughs> yeah, it's such a bitch in the fact how it was guns and ammo on me. It's quite a thing. Quite a thing. Now, put these on and hop in. Well, ain't she coming? Ah, uh, well, women can't fly, sir. Are you insane? We can't. Oh, no, sir. It does terrible damage to them, to their vapors. I thought everyone knew about that. Why, a delicate flower like Mrs. Adler? <laughs> Heavens above or below. Ah. Where'd you find this guy? I told you you two would get on. Uh, are you sure about this? Certain, sir. Quite certain. Mrs., let us away. <clears throat> Wish us luck. I've only crashed twice. Now, uh. pull on. <laughs> oh! Oh! Hope for the best. Ah. He always said crash. That's you actually a good fun. thing. How did I really you mean it. This? <laughs> okay. Here goes nothing. Right. 
time to catch a few vapors of our own. I actually overcast, have to say, but I'm expecting some good wind once we're high enough. We should still have some decent views over the river. Now, one hates to be coarse, but on the subject of ablutions, liquids over the side, solids, do your utmost to levy the situation until we land. Okay, Mr. Bullard. I had a client How high we're going? Fell foul to a rotten oyster on the ascent. A decidedly harrowing experience. Oh! Keep going, sir. We need to get up above the clouds. It really is stunning up there. You'll have seen nothing like it. No kidding. Uh, in a couple of more, a couple hundred years, we're gonna have planes. Your hot improvement is gonna go out of business. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be so fun. All right, then, let's break through these clouds. That is so cool. Quite remarkable, isn't it? Feels like we have a nice westerly wind, so keep her around this height. This particular vessel is state of the art, sir. Imported from Europe. Won't find more than a couple of these on this side of the pond. So long as it works. You sure you shouldn't be doing this? Not at all. A child could operate this with a little supervision. Besides, yeah. Mrs. Adler told me you were very keen to learn Ooh. the ropes. We have plenty of those. She did, did she? Yeah, okay, you don't want to burn this thing. Now. Yeah, you really don't want to burn the hot air balloon, man. student of the Italian eight. My brother's called Balvasario, so you could say I got off lightly. Look, I I'm trying to concentrate here. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he's off the throttle there, sir. Ah, that's better. Look, we can see from miles now. Did you breakfast in the city this morning, Mr. Morgan? Not exactly. Well, I have a boiled egg in my pocket here that you're very welcome to. I think I'm all right, thank you. Recalling the ablutions uh, discussion. Well, just say the word. Whoa, there. No need to go any higher. So, if I may ask, what got you interested in the pursuit of aviation? I uh, didn't, exactly. Uh, Mrs. Adler thought she'd surprise me. Ah, oh, a very nice woman. And no shrinking violet. Definitely not. I prefer slightly more feminine attire on a lady, but variety is the very spice of life, as they say. <laughs> or is it, though? Did you know they locked up the man who wrote that in a mental asylum? I did not, Mr. Bullard. See that building up ahead on the island? That's the infamous Sisica Penitentiary. We shouldn't fly too near to it, though, sir. Sorry, we're going in for a closer look. What do you mean? Mr. Morgan, please, this is most irregular. Well, you want a happy customer, don't you? Look, this isn't funny now. What on earth are you doing? The guards are bound to spot us. Calm down. They won't care if we stay high enough. I'm just looking for a friend of mine. A friend? Poor bastard has a habit of being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I heard they got him working the fields in a chain gang. Dear God.
working in the fields with the chain cane. The chain cane. The wind. Well, this is most unusual. Relax, Mr. Bullard. Here, take over. Keep us well away. I'll do my best. This filly isn't the easiest to control, you know. This was not the tool nope. I had in mind. Nope. That ain't John. Please hurry. That's not him. There he is. Wait, is that him? Looks like it. Yep, that's him. Oh, they're shooting us. What are you doing? They're shooting at us. I can see that. Ascend! Ascend! Oh, my lord. They're crazy! They want this to light on fire and burn everyone? The wind speed is picking up. We should stay at this altitude. It's heading northwesterly, so that should take us back to land. Dear God, I'm shaking like a leaf. Oh, cool. Keep it up. That's uh, neat. We're in the clear now, Mr. Bullard. You can get up. Good Lord. My heart is pounding. <sighs> I must say, the specifics of this job were not described to me at all sufficiently. Well, it's done now. Annisburg. Sure. Good Lord. Is that... Is that Mrs. Adler? Where? Being chased. Yes. Try and get us near. Will there be more trouble, sir? I expect so. I'm starting to rather enjoy this. Ooh. Hey! Say it! Up there! They're on Christmas. Mrs. Adler has a lot to answer for. Yes, she does. Oh my god! There! Damn it! What was she thinking messing with the old Driscoll's right now? You get a better look. There we go. Where is the other guy? Oh, there we go. Wait till I tell Bob Osario about this. Okay, so where's your friends? Who the hell just shot us? Are you shitting me? You sniped the fucking pilot. What the hell? That's th that's nuts. Oh 
my gosh. Uh, I think we're gonna crash. We have a real habit of seeing the obvious, Arthur. Hold on. Uh, at least we crash, okay? You break your neck? I don't think so. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> we don't have time for that. Damn it, look! There's more of them on the other side! They must have followed us. Get behind something. This ain't over yet. These got damn old Driscoll's! You can't leave it for one day! Just kill these sons of bitches! Give me a second. I need to adjust the lighting on my computer because I can barely see anything. There we go. That's much better. Hope the light isn't bad on your guys' side. Oh. Full of box shot. Oh, stay in high cover, dude. Here we go. Hang up your damn can't stay out of trouble for one goddamn hour. You got that poor bastard killed for his troubles. I kind of liked him. They got Comb, the government. They got Comb O'Driscoll. They're gonna hang him in San Denis. Hang him? Okay. Mm -mm. He's already been tried twice for murder and found guilty. Sure, no doubt he'll escape again. No, he won't, because we're gonna make sure of it. I... We have our own problems with the law, in case you ain't noticed. Dutch will want to see him swing. Sure, Dutch. He wouldn't even help us with Marston. And our situation is really messed up right now. You know how things is. Bastard's gonna swing. I'm gonna make sure of it. Closely followed by Marston. You saw him? Yes, in the fields. Okay. Then we go rescue him. 
<coughs> from the state penitentiary? No. But from the fields? Yes. That we can manage. It's well guarded. Guarded, sure, but not behind bars. No, it's not behind bars. So, that's how we'll do it. Bust him from his work detail. I guess. It's best just the two of us go. <coughs> the two of us is all there is, anyhow. Good, because two is all we'll need. I'll get us a bunk, a little one, and we'll sneak in and get him out of there. Meet me at Copperhead Landing. Thank you, Arthur. Whatever you say, boss. I heard that. I can manually save. Don't turn off all saving. Uh. We have my horse here. I can loot these guys, see if we get anything good. I just how much money do I have? I'm not shouldn't really worry about money now, should I? Oh. I can make my way up there and get guns. That's good. Okay, um... Hat. There we go. I'm a cowboy again! I got my hat on. Yeah! yeah. Oi! Okay, what the fuck just fucking happened? Um, why did my horse just flew like that for? What the hell was that about? That's not even something I had it wanted to do. My horse just fucking lost itself. What the fuck? Okay, are you okay, horse? Huh? Go over here. Are you okay, buddy? I have no idea why my game seems so dark for on me. On me. Controls, display. Just don't worry about it, whatever. Okay, fella. I'm not gonna spend an hour messing with settings. Fuck that shit. Why are you running so fast? Easy. Oh. Okay. What's going on down there?
You Help. okay? Help. You, you Help. sick, partner? Uh, it, it's in Whoa. me. They're in me. You're not well, friend. Uh, Butch is crick. Butch is crick. Uh, Where? Uh, Butch is crick. Is that where you're from? Butch is crick. You want me to take you back, or...? There ain't uh, me. Uh, well, come on, let me get you home. Butchers, Crick. Okay. Oh, that's not where I wanted to go. Because I'm not spinning out right now. I'm not spinning center. Okay, so that's where I'm going. Drop on. I think the water is moving too fast for a crossing. There's no darkness. Daya. Okay. Ravens. Oh, Butcher's Creek. You. And there's bones back here. Some distress. <laughs> yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Well, the mule, sweet the mule, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, come on, come on. Get up here, help you. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he he's not well. It's 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 the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the village is... Well, thank you, sir. I thank, thank you for lim... me! Please, please, sir. Them you are not well, sir. Uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. Love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. this up here that I'll get to. Then I need to make my way the whole way back down here. To Dutch it seems like. Okay. Yeah, I saw the map correctly. Yeah, it looks like there's a bath going like that. Okay. Good, 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 good. Um, why did that happen? That was weird. I'm just minding my own. You may 
made a big mistake. What the hell? <coughs> what the fuck just happened? I didn't even want to shoot. I just had plans of letting it be. Fucking asses. Can't you get me off this thing? I was almost kick me in the ass. Hey friend, you do me a kindness and untie me. Are you crazy? Touched. Jesus, thank you. They had me mixed up with my brother. There's a high rolling poker game above the Saint Denis gunsmith. Hopefully, that can serve as well. Oh, that's cool. Come on, pal. Is it even there still? Like the mystery thing? Yes. Okay. I've gotten a couple and they vanish on me before I even get there. I'm like, why did I even went there in the first place? That's why I checked. Yeah. No, 
not a lot of ammo in my pistols, are there? It's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... <laughs> we came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm going to do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. <laughs> Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well, you ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on, I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh... Let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I... I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But... I, 
I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes there. Look, a rabbit. Okay, stay quiet and still watch me. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. To it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. We're done for now. Whoa! Get back! Oh, If you hadn't been here, I I'd be dead now. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Well, uh, I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. Funny idea you have a well. <laughs> oh. Looks like your cloth fell. Are those blue bonnets? No. They're not blue bonnets. I think I thought they were. I think maybe they are. Thank huh. you. 
That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me. Since we got here. Nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am. Maps are fun. 